More than 1,000, 1,000 innocent lives lost, including at least 27 Americans. These guys make, uh, they, they make Al-Qaeda look pure. They're pure, they're pure evil. But I said from the beginning, the United States, make no mistake about it, stands with Israel. It's also priority for me to urgently address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. At my direction, our teams are working in the region, including communicating directly with the governments of Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and other Arab nations and the United Nations to surge support and humanitarian consequences for Hamas' attack to help Israel. You know, we, have to, we can't lose sight of the fact that the overwhelming majority of Palestinians had nothing to do with Hamas and Hamas's appalling attacks, and they're suffering as a result as well. This morning, I spoke with the family members of all those Americans who are still unaccounted for on a Zoom call for about an hour and a 10, 15 minutes. They're, they're going through agony, not knowing what the status of their sons, daughters, husbands, wives, children are. You know, it's gut-wrenching. I assured them my personal commitment to do everything possible, everything possible to return every missing American to their families.